I'm going to read uh, The Prince and the Popos, uh, written by Mark Twain. Uh, and today I'm going to read the two chapters, The Prince and the Peasant and The Prince and the Hermit. Uh, chapter 19 and chapter 20. Here you go. This story uh, was... Uh, uh, this story is found uh, uh, ego4u.com Chapter 19 The Prince with a Peasant When the king woke in the early morning, he found that a wet but thoughtful lad had crept into the place during the night and made a scourge bed for itself in his bosoms. Being disturbed now, it scram scampered away. The boy smiled and said, It's the fool. Why so fearful? I am as forlorn as well. Uh, those who fear shine in me and to hurt the helpless, who am myself so helpless? Moreover, I owe you thanks for a good woman, woman, and for when a king has fallen so low that the very last to make a battle of him. It surely manifests that his fortunes to be upon the turn, since it is the plain he can no longer go. He got out and stepped out of the store, and just then he heard the sound of children's voices. The barn door was open, and a couple of little girls came in as soon as they saw him. Other were talking or laughing ceased, and they stopped and stood still, gazing at him with a strong curiosity. The presentries began to whisper and to gaze. Then they approached the nearest and stopped again to gaze. On his first by and by, they gathered courage and began to discuss to him around and said, He has us a come with pace, they are added, and free air. But it is a cruelty, no. And then how struggled at the he looks. Look, they came still to nervous that stood aside and slide shyly uh, around him, allowed him to examine him the miniatures from all points as if he were some strange new kind of animal. But Early and watchfully the while, as if they had feared he might be sort of the animal that would bite upon occasions. Finally, they halted uh, before him, holding each other's hands to for the protection. Uh, to be satisfying, they were still there and was nice. Then one of them flopped up to all her courage and inquired with his honest directions, Who are thou, boy? And the king's was the grave answer. The children gave a little sigh, and their eyes spread themselves wide open, and they remained so during a speechless half minute. Then Pyrrhus just broke the silence. The king! What king? The king of England. The children looked at each other, then at him, then at each other again, wondering, perplexedly, then on Saturday. Didn't hear him, the murderers, that he said he is the king. Can that be true? How can it be asked but truth to preach it? And would he say a lie? And then Paul looked choose to preach. And it a one and a truth that it would be a lie. It should be. Now, think on. And then, for all things that be not true, to be uh, only those can make those else out of it. It was a good tired argument just to read a week and in it anywhere. And it left to preach a half those not like to stand on. She considered a moment that uh, put the king upon his honors with a simple mark. If thou art truly the king, then I believe thee, and truly the king. Beside the matters that his majesty lord was accepted without further question or discussion, and the two little girls began at once to inquire just how he came to be where he was, and how he came to be so unloyally clad and withered. Uh, he was bound, and it's all about his affairs. It was a night to live to him, to pour out his troubles to where they would not be scoffed at or doubted. So he told his tales with a feeling, forgetting deep in his hunger for a time, and was received with the deep and tenderest sympathy by the gentle little maid. But when he got down to his latest uh, experience, and then they learned how long he had been without food. They cut him short and hurried him away to the farmhouse to find a breakfast for him. The king was cheerful and happy now and said to himself, 
when I was uh, when I came come to my own again, I always stand over the children, remembering how that did trust in me and believe in me and in my time of trouble. One day that were older and thought themselves wiser to mock at me and held me for hire. The children mother received a keen kind of resentment. Uh, was full of pity for his deformed condition and apparently craved the interactive tortures on woman heart. She was a widow and a lot of first. Uh, consequently, she had a thin troubles enough to enable her to use the for the unfortunate. She imagined that uh, the dementist boy had wandered away to from his friends or uh, keepers, so she tried to find out once that she had come in you know, order that she might uh, take measures to return him. But all her friends to neighboring town and the villages and all her inquiries in the same eyes went for nothing the boy's face and his answers to show that the things she was talking were not familiar to him. He uh, spoke honestly and simply about her court matters and broke down more than once. When speaking of the late king, his father, but whenever the conversation changed the base topic, he lost interest and became silent. No one was mightily puzzled, uh, but she did not give up. And as she proceeded with her cooking, she set herself to contriving device to surprise the boy into betraying his little secret. She talked about the cattle, uh, he showed no concern, then about the she and the same lizard. So her guest and that is he had been a shepherd boy was an arrest. She talked about news and about weaver and tinkers, myth, trade and tradesmen of all sorts, and about bellums and jails and uh, charitable retreats. Uh, but no matter, uh, she was baffled at all points. And now together either stuff for she argued that she had narrowed the thing down to domestic service. Uh, Yes, she was sure that she was on the right track. Now, it must have been a horse, house, house, servant. So she led up to that, but the reader was discouraging, and the subject of the sweeping appeared to rule him. The fire reading failed to stir him to scrubbing and the scouring, no word, no enthusiasm, uh, the wife touched with a perishing heart, and rather as a matter of forms. Upon the subject of cooking, uh, to her surprise uh, and advanced nice delight, and the king's face lowered at once. Uh, ah, she had hunted him down at last, he thought, and she was right proud too of the uh, debuts and shrewdness and tact which she had accomplished it. Her tired tongue and then got us the chance to rest, uh, for the king's inspired by knowing anger and uh, prevalent smash that came from the sputtering spot and the fence, uh, turned himself to lose and delivered itself up to such an uh, elegant uh, dissertation. Happened certain to some and dishes that uh, within uh, three minutes uh, the woman said it to herself, Oh, a truth? Oh, you right. He had to the husband in the kitchen. Then he broadened his bill of affairs and discoursed with such a official and animation that the uh, good wife said to herself, Good luck, good luck. How can he you know so many dishes and so fine ones to be thought? For these belong so only upon the tables of rich and great. Ah, now I see. Laid out cast he, as he is. He must have served in the palace before his listen when I swear that yeah. He must have helped in the very kitchen of the king himself. I will test him. Full of eagerness to prove her sex and she told the king to mind the cooking the moment, thinking that he might manufacture the add a dish or two. If he chose, then a street went out of room and gave her children a sign to follow after the king mutters. Another English king had a commission like to do this, and as bygone times, it is nothing against my dignity to undertake an office to which a great offer is stood to the him. But I will try to better so the matter was then he, and before he let the king spread. He knew it good, but the performance was not answerable of it for this king. Like the other one, so um, soon as the fell into deep thinking concerning his past affairs, and the same calamity reserved the cookery uh, got burn, the woman returned in time to save the purpose from entire destruction, and she promptly brought the king out of his dreams with brisk, uh, courteous tongue lashing. Then, seeing how troubled he was over his debilitated trust, she softened at once, and, 
with all goodness and the gentleness toward him. The boy made us hearty and satisfied me and was greatly refreshed uh, grand in by it. It was amused, uh, which was distinguished by this curious feature that land was weaved, waved, waved on both sides. Yet uh, neither recipient of the favors was aware that he had been extended. The good wife had intended to feed this young friend with a broken victuals in a corner like any other friend or like a dog. But she was so merciful and for the scolding she had given him and that she did not know what she uh, could do to account for it by allowing him to sit at the family table and eat uh, least better is the um, ostensible terms of equality with them and the king on his side is that was so remorseful and for having broken a stroke the after families to have been so it kind of means that he forced himself to return for it by humbling himself to the family level instead of requiring the woman how to return stand and wait upon him while he occupied the dead table in the solitary state due to his force and dignity. It does us all good to unbend sometimes. This good woman was made happy all the day long by the flowers to which she got out of herself for her magnanimous condensation, condensation to tramp. And uh, the king was just as such complexion of his gracious humility to a, a humble peasant woman. When Crocus was over, the housewife and told the king to wash up the dishes. In this command was a stranger. The so poor man and the king came near to leveling and then stepped himself and after the great to wash the cakes and dolefully he would have washed the dish too. Therefore, to will I essay it. You made a sufficiently full job of it. There is surprise too, and uh, for the cleaning of the wooden chiffon and the trenchers, and the house seems an um, easy thing to do. It was tattered and throw some piece of work, but he finished it at last. He was becoming impatient to get away on his journey now. However, he was not to lose it. Thrifty dames, um, so thanks to easily that she uh, furnished him so little oaths and ends of uh, employment, which he got through. Good after a fair fashion and with some credit. Then she set him and the little girls to fearing some winter of efforts, but he was so awkward at the dissolve that she retired him from it and uh, gave him a butcher knife to grind. Afterward, and she kept him the carding wool until he began to think he had laid the good king and um, offered about a fine art in the shade of the present uh, in the matter of showing many heroism that usually just features clean stories, uh, books, and stories. And so he was half mourned to the giant. And then, one and just after the midday dinner, the good wife gave him a basket of kitchens to draw. He did resign. Although he stressed he was just going to resign, for he felt that he must draw the line somewhere, and it seemed to him that draw it at the kitchen's drawing. So, what about the right things to when there was an interruption? The uh, interruption was John Cantis to just follow a pack on his back and the Hugo. The king discovered these lascars approaching the front gates before they had had a chance to see him. So, he said nothing about drawing the line, but to cook. His basket of the kitchen and stepped quietly out the back way, without a word. He left the crochets in an outhorse and, and hurried on into a narrow lane at a rarest. Uh, chapter 20 The Prince and the Hermit. Uh, the hermit is like a priest. Why had you hid him from the house now and so mm, under the influence of deadly pride? It out. All his first day, and then sped toward a wood in the distance, and I will look back until he had almost gained a shorter of the first. Then he turned and uh, decried, described two figures in distance. That was sufficient. He did not wait to scan them critically, but hurried on and never waited to use his face to chill the words and followed in the true light depths of the world. Then he stopped, being persuaded that he was now tolerably safe. I listened intently to Bob. The series still was profound and sounds awful, even and depressing to the spirit at the wild intervals. These strange, straining, of steady detect and sounds, but they were so much 
and highlight the mysterious and the shinra to be real sound. The only the mornings and the complaint goes have departed once the sound or not more dreary than the silence to which they interrupted it. It was uh, his purpose in the beginning to stay where he was the rest of the day, but a chill soon made it uh, his uh, perspiring body. He was the last of his to resume. Moving in order to get warm, he struck the straight through the forest, offering the purest for road pleasantries that he was disappointed in this. He traveled on and on, and the farther he went, uh, the denser the wood became. Apparently, the gloom began to thicken by and by, and the skin realized that the night was coming on. It made it seem sure to think of spending it in such an uncanny place, so he tried to hurry faster. He only made it to less speed, and for he could now and see well enough to choose his steps judiciously. The consequently, he kept tripping over roots and then tangling himself in vines and briars. And however, the steed was uh, when I lost this coat, a green of light, and he approached too early, stopping often to look about him and listen. He came from the ungraced windows opening in a shadowy trap. He heard a voice now, he felt a disposition to run and hide, but he changed his mind at once. For this voice was praying, um, evidently to glide to the one window of the hut, and raised himself down tiptoe, and the sword advanced within. The room was small, its floor was a natural earth, the beaten heart and by use. And the corner was a bed of rushes, then a legged spank or two, and near it was pair, a cup, a machine, and two or three pots and pans. Ah, there was a short adventure and a th uh, three leg stools uh, on the heart and the uh, remains of the pack of uh, fires towards the smoldering to be for a shrine uh, which was lighted by a single candle. Uh, not an easy man and on an old just a wooden box. Uh, at his side is lay an oftenest book and a human skirt. The man was a rigid, bony frame to his hair and whiskers that were very long and snowy white. He was clothed in a robe of skins, uh, which he washes from his neck to his uh, hair. The holy hermit that the king to himself, now I might indeed a fortunate. The hermit rose from his knees and the king knocked and the deep voice responded, and about to leave him behind us, for the grounds to were often death of sand is holy. The king entered and posed the hermit's tone of very rings on lustful eyes upon him, said, Who are thou? Who are thou? That means, who are you? I'm the king. And this came the answer that uh, with this flash, this the simplest list of welcome king, cried hermit with enthusiasm. Then bustling about his feverish activity and constantly saying, Welcome, welcome. He runs this bench, he seats the king on need and uh, by the hearth uh, through some pebbles on the fire, and the furnace to fell on the facing and the floors to the nerves right as welcome. Many of the sort of sanctuaries to hear but they were not worthy and uh, were turn away the but a king who cast this crown away, and then uh, that's why the vain splendors of his office and the cruel his body and legs, they were his life to the holiness and uh, modifications of the flesh. He is worthy, he is welcome, he shall to be about his always days till that come. The king asked him to interrupt and explain, but Muhammad paid no, no attention to him, did not even hear him. Apparently, Stuart went, went right on his, his talk with a raised voice and growing energy, and those short and be at peace, and here is another uh, short to find out the refuge to disquiet. Uh, the, uh, with the supplication to return to the empty and foolish life to which God has moved thee to abandon though a short spray here, there was a short um, surge of root, and there was a short um, meditate upon the forest and delusion of this world, and upon the submitist sub of the world, and come, thou shortest uh, feed upon curse and herbs, and the scourge the body with hymns. Our uh, limit to the purifying of the soul. And those have shorts uh, wear our hairs that shirts next the um uh, skins uh those in short drink our tony and those that are sure to be at peace and uh, yes wholly at peace the for whoso comes to see the shorts go his way then the buffalo they shall not find the uh shall not most the one man's this patience to ban forest 
uh, no serious to speak aloud and begin to mutter the king see these opportunities to state his case and uh, to list eloquence inspired by a need instead of range but the hermit went on muttering gave only he bid and uh, still muttering that he approached the king and said in press the British I'll tell your secret he bent down to part it and but checked himself then assumed a listening to the after a moment or so to he went on tiptoes and to window opening and they sat out and peered around in the gloaming stand came to towards the back again but his face closed down to the king's and whispered I'm an archangel archangel I'm an archangel archangel the king started violently and said to himself would you God, I was to this hour again, for and now am I the prisoner of my man? His apprehensions were um, uh, heightened, and they showed the plainly in his face, in a low, excited voice, the home computer. I see it with my atmosphere. There's all in your face, and, uh, maybe in this atmosphere, and not be thus affected. But it is the very atmosphere of heaven. I go thither and then return, and the twinklings of one eye. I was made an archangel on this very spot, this five years ago, to well, angels sent from heaven to confer uh, that awful dignity. There is a present few and dispersed with an intolerable lightness. And they knelt to him, me, and the king. Yes, they knelt to me. For I was greater than they. I have walked in the court of heaven and have speech with this uh, track. Though to my hand be not afraid to touch it. Uh, there is now those that has to touch her hand, which has been crafted by Abraham, Isaac, and Jack Jacob. Before I have walked in the golden courts, uh, I have seen the dirty faced face. He paused to give this speech effect. Then he face suddenly changed and he started to speak against uh, it with the angry energy. I saw Aaron an archangel, a mere star, archangels. I th that might have been both. It is the very true I was told it from having your dreams and twenty years ago. Uh, yeah, I was to be pope. Um, you know, it should have been pope. And for heavens, that had I said it, it is what the king dissolved the marriage out and a poor obscure and trended monk was cast the only stuff in the world, loved of the mighty destiny. At the here, uh, he began to mumble against and beat his forehead and put for your rage um, with his fist. Now and then that creates the venomous course, and uh, now and then the pathetic. Wherefore, I am not the baron uh, archangel, and uh, uh, that assures to have been puff. So he went on for an hour, whilst the poor little king sat and suffered. Then all at once, the old man's frenzy departed, and he became all gentleness, his voice softened. He came down out, out of his corpse, and fell to fracturing his lungs. So Simply stands so humanly that he soon on the king's heart uh, completely the old devotees moved the boy nearer to the fire and made him capture with Dr. A small bed of bruise and then a great sense of the doubt and tender hand. And then set about to prepare and cooking and supper, and chatting presently all the time and occasionally stroking rest chicks and partings that his head is in such a gently carousing way that in little wise the old fears and the Persian inspired the brighter archangels to was changes to liberate and affection for their man. This half state of the things continued a while to chew, ate its supper, then after spread before the shrine, the hermit to fill the void bed, uh, in a small joining rooms and tucking him in a snugglist and loving as a mother might, and so to the parting carols and loved to him and the set down by fire, and began to folk and brands about in an absent and earnest way sufficiently so posed, then tapped his uh, forehead several times, with his fingers that he was trying to recall some thoughts which had escaped from his mind. Apparently he was unsuccessful. Um, now he started to pick it up and entered the guest room and said, No, King, yeah, was the response told the author. What King? Of England. Of England? That hand is gone. Our ax is so sad that uh, I'm his son. And the black prone suffered upon and down upon the home's face. He clenched his honest hands with his being given energy, he stood a few moments and breathing fast and swallowing the fruits and sat in a husky voice. This was it was, he had us on, out into the world, how there is the homeless. 
there was no response. The old man went down and scanned and boys of the fossil's face listened to his flushed bleeding, his lips slipped soundly, and then from me plunged away, standing gave place to this an expression of evil satisfaction as smell teeth across the dream boy's picture and honey mothers. So it's hardly happy. And then it's torn away. He went to the list about place, seeking here and there for something, now and then halting to listen, now and then jerking his head around it, and casting a quick glance toward the bed, and always muttering on his uh, mumbling to himself to at last he found what seemed to want a lusty old butcher knife and a western stand. He crept to his place by the fire, and sat himself down, and uh, began to wet uh, the knife softly on the stone, as he said, muttering to mumbling, ejaculating the wind's side around the room placed the mysterious voice of the night floated by a half of distance, the shining eyes of the vengeful sunrise and rest the fear out at the old man from the cracks and cover and uh, cover covered. And then he went on his twist work and laughed and observed and noticed done none of these things. Along towards the he drew his thumb and on the edge of his knife and noticed he said with satisfaction Goes sharper, status, yes, it grows sharper. He took no note of the flight of times, but walked uh, tranquilly on entertaining himself with the soldiers, which to work out occasionally in article speech. Um, his father wrote us evil. He destroyed us, and it's gone the, down into the eternal fires. But down the eternal fires escaped us, but it was caused with it, and yeah, he was gossiped emotionally fine, but he has not escaped the fires. No, he has not escaped the fire. Uh, Consuming some peachy, limousous fires, then they are everlasting. I am sorry, low then. And uh, she is um, road, mumbling, chuckling a row, rasping chuckles at times and end times and breaking again to words. Where's father? Did it all. I am very an archangel, but for him I should be both. The king stirred, and the hermit sprang noiselessly to the side, and now on stuff on his knees, and bending now upwards, the prostrate as the promised knife of lifted, and the voice stirred again, his eyes came up on for an instant, but there was no speculation in them, he saw nothing. The next moment, his tranquil breathing showed that this sweet was sound once more. The hermit watched and listened for time, giving his voice shine and scarcely breathing, then he slowly lowered his arms and the prison just crept away, saying, As long past midnight, it's not fast that he should cry out, lest by action someone he passing. And he grunted about his horse, and gathering the light here and a tongue there, another one yonder. Then he returned and did by careful and gentle handlings, he managed to tie the king's anchors together without waking him. Next, he said to tie the wrists. He made a several attempts to, to cross them, and but the boys always drew one hand, and then the other ways, the, just as the call was ready to be applied. At last, when the archangel was almost led to despair, the boy crossed his hands himself, and the next moment they would bounce, and not a bench uh, was passed under the slippers chin, and uh, brought up over his head, and tied fast and so softly, so gradually. So, the after the war, the notes drawn to Twitter and uh, compacted it, that the boy slept peacefully through it was it all without stirring. Uh, interesting story. Looks like the hermit, uh, the, the hermit, uh, is mad, was mad. Alright, um, a long story, and then. Uh, uh, my goal is to finish this uh, story novels by reading aloud. Uh, it's quite a long story. I almost uh, read it more than half. Here, to any um, eight chapters. So, um, Twenty or uh, three chapters. So twenty twenty or thirty three chapters. So I got thirteen chapters more. 
Right? 